Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It's so beautiful outside today, let me tell you. Anyways, for today's video, I wanted to go with you guys to Bath and Body Works. As you guys probably already know, we are quickly approaching the holiday season and the winter is quickly approaching us, even though it feels like it's kind of here. Not officially, you know what I mean? So basically, I did this kind of video back in the springtime. I did something like this in the fall time, but I never ended up posting it because I just don't know. To be honest, I didn't buy a lot of uh, pumpkin spice candles or pumpkin candles in general. It's just not my style of candle. And I don't want to just buy to buy and to just make the video just to make. I just want to be honest and truthful here. That's what it's all about. So I didn't end up posting it. And then the footage of me showing you guys the products in store was like 27 seconds. So it just didn't make any sense. So I scrapped that footage. But I recently went to Bath and Body Works with my sister. I was able to... Um, film everything that I wanted to film. Everyone there was super, super nice. Everyone at Bath & Body Works is always just so sweet and nice and they're just so happy that you're there. A lot of stores are not like that as if like you're doing, as if like they're doing you a favor that you're there. Uh, no, I'm doing you a favor that I'm here. You know what I mean? But everyone that, yeah, so everyone there is super, super nice, just very smiley and just with it. And I'm like, every store should be like this. But anyways, I love taking you guys in store with me, of course, so you guys can see the vibe of what's going on. Feel that like spirit. We're gonna go in store. I'm gonna speak to you guys about all of the candles that they have available for the holiday season. What I also did was I kind of rated the candles based on what I personally think for myself. So I did it out of 10. So like you'll hear me say like, okay, this candle is five out of 10 or seven out of 10 based on what my brain can handle. I do mention this quite a few times on my channel, but I am pretty sensitive to scents. So I ranked the candles based on my sensitivity. If you aren't sensitive to scents, please go buy all of the candles there because they all smell so good. But just knowing myself, I know if I would purchase certain types of candles, this head would not be here right now. It just wouldn't be here. Anyways, I'm talking way too much right now. Let's go ahead and get started with the footage. And then, of course, I did pick up a few goodies uh, to share with you guys. So we'll do that towards the end. All right, walking into Bath and Body Works, I'm telling you guys, it literally looks like a winter wonderland. So beautiful. They decorated it so nicely. I'm so excited. You're not in a door. Eh? No, it's fine. <laughs> As long as I don't know, you're good. Okay, okay, okay. This is so cool. It's like a magnetic piece that you would put on top of the candle to make it look more festive and you just open it up like that. It's so cool. I love it. And that's retailing for $4.95. We have some of these here. How cute is this peppermint marshmallow? It smells pretty good. It has more like a chocolatey peppermint scent. I don't smell much marshmallow, uh, but I would rate it a 7 out of 10. We have this beauty here too, the cinnamon caramel swirl. This has like a Cinnabon type of scent. I would rate it 6 out of 10. It's kind of a little bit headache-y. I don't know. This right here is Merry Cookie. Has a very sweet sugary kind of scent. Also 6 out of 10. Winter Candy Apple. So nice. This literally smells like candy to me. I would definitely rate it a 9 out of 10. I love it a lot. Ow, I just killed my finger. We have Sugar Snicker Doodle. Love, love, love the name. So pretty. It definitely has like that warm, spicy scent. A little bit headachey. I would probably rate it a five out of 10. I love the packaging, but my head cannot take this. I don't know, why? Next up we have Frosted Cranberry. I would say this smells like apples and cranberries, something along those lines. Um, seven out of 10. How beautiful is the purple? This is Cherry Frost. I would rate this a seven out of 10. It definitely smells like cherry ices. It has a very, very strong cherry scent. Not bad. Love Champagne Toast packaging probably the most. It's so cute. It has a very candy-ish, bubbly champagne scent. I would rate this an 8 out of 10. This literally smells like chocolate peppermint. I wonder what it'll smell like in my house. Like, imagine my whole house smelling like chocolate and peppermint in one. What? Chocolate peppermint would probably be rated a 8 out of 10. Look at chocolate lava cake. I love it. They went all out this year. This has a very chocolatey, fudgy cake kind of scent. I would rate this a um, 7 out of 10. Next up, we have Tiss This Season, which I know a lot of you guys love. It has a very apple-y, cinnamon-y cinnamon kind of scent. My head can't really like take these kind of scents much. So I would say 6 out of 10 for me personally. Look at Pink Fairy Gumdrop. I love it. Yeah, this is definitely like a 9.5 out of 10. It smells like gumdrops, bubble gum, just goodness, just yumminess. So cute. I love how it says on back. The lids of all of these candles are beautiful too, by the way. This is spiced ginger bread. Not too strong, I should say. I would say in between a strong and light. So probably a 7.5 out of 10. I have yet to find a candle that's a 10 out of 10. We're gonna do it. I'm on a mission. Okay, next up, frosted coconut snowball. <laughs> oh my, the music. So this has a very like play-doughy scent. I don't know. I don't really like this one. I would probably rate it 5 out of 10. We 
have some of their classic scents here. We have like winter, mahogany teapot, which used to be my favorite, frozen lake. They constantly change the packaging to keep it interesting. I love it. Flamingo is also one of their cult classics. We have twisted peppermint and then marshmallow fireside as well. This seems like it's a new one. It's sparkling icicles. Okay, yum. It smells like detergent in the best way ever. It smells so fresh and clean. 10 out of 10. Hello, this is for me. We then have the perfect Christmas. Literally smells like fresh cut pine, cinnamon. A little bit too strong for me. It smells nice but a bit too strong. I would probably rate it a 7 out of 10. We also have crisp morning air here. Definitely smells like a crisp winter morning. It smells pretty good. 9 out of 10. We have the cinnamon clove buds candle here. It says, I'm back. This basically smells like red hot candy, literally in a candle. Here we have the citrus spice candle, it looks beautiful. This has like an orangey, clovey, musky kind of scent, it smells really nice. Great for the kitchen, I think. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 8 out of 10. This is praline, pecan, and cream. It has a very like vanilla-y, marshmallow-y scent in a very strong way. For me, it would probably be a 4 out of 10. It's, this, is a, this is exactly the epitome of a candle that gives me the biggest headache of my life. <laughs> we have vanilla birch here. This smells like a man I used to go out with that I like, but it didn't work out. So I don't like it for that, but it does really smell really good. <gasps> oh, apparently a 10 out of 10. It smells hot. Yay, we got two full bags. Mission accomplished. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed coming in store with me. Now let me share with you guys a few things that I picked up. So first off, I only picked up four candles. I didn't want to overdo it because I'll, I, it takes me a long time to burn through candles. So I just wanted to be realistic with myself. This right here is Merry Mimosa. The few that I picked up were definitely like up there. This smells legit like shampoo, like a pink bubblegum shampoo life. It smells so good. There's red apple slices in here, ice sugar crystals, sparkling champagne. I love the packaging. It's beautiful. It's pink. Honestly, I left the lid open for the past few days and my house has been smelling bomb. So love that so damn much. And then the next candle that I ended up picking up was this. No. This is when you know your head's not really in the right place. <laughs> I picked up another Mary Mimosa. Apparently I picked up both too. I guess it really made a huge impression. So I might end up keeping the additional one. What? Where was my head? My, my phone died. My sister kept calling me. I don't know where she was. It was a whole ordeal. But anyways, I might end up burning this one as well. I'll see how much I enjoyed this one burned. If I don't find that I'll use it, I'll just probably give it to my sister because she's actually moving. So it'll be kind of like a housewarming gift-ish for her. We'll see. The next few things I picked up were hand soaps. I usually end up picking up candles and hand soaps and Bath and Body Works. Those are the two main things I picked up, pick up generally. So I picked up Tiss the Season. I really like the deep cleansing hand soaps. I feel like they last longer. They really do have more of a deep clean to them in a way. Like it makes your hands feel cleaner. At least I feel that way. Um, and this smells really nice. It has like a, let me tell you one second. It has like a red apple cinnamony kind of scent. Perfectly scented though. Then I picked up Bright Winter Sky. This one I picked up in the regular gentle foaming hand soaps. I kind of wanted to um, mix it up, but I do like this formula a little bit more than this one. Although both are good. Anyway, yeah, this smells so good. It smells like the detergent, very clean, very fresh. It says dewy, apple, sheer jasmine, and fresh bergamot. I guess that's my style of scent because it smells bomb. Then I picked up two of these same candles. And with this one, I was aware because I mainly picked one up for myself and one for my friend Gitty. I gave her a hand soap back in the springtime when I did my other Bath & Body Works haul. And she was like, yo, I'm obsessed. And I'm like, really? You love it? She's like, yeah. She doesn't really go to Bath & Body Works. So I was like, I messaged her yesterday. I'm like, hey. Um, I got you a hand soap. She's like, you're so cute, thanks. I'm like, sure. I don't know. I like doing these kind of things sometimes. Anyway, so here's what this one looks like. This is probably one of my favorite scents. It smells so bomb, like literally bombs away. Delicious. Red apple, winter rose, petals. Yeah, I guess I'm into red apple. <laughs> Even though I would think that's more of a full scent. Anyways, this one right here is for her. The last hand soap I picked up was the Fresh Sparkling Snow one, which looks just like this. I wanted to pick up the other one that smelled like this guy that I went out with, but then I'm like, no. I'm not coming to my house every time I'm being reminded that, like, you know, it didn't work out. <laughs> that was kind of funny. So anyways, this smells also very nice, very fresh, very clean. This right here is like Icy Melon, Holiday Pier, and Falling Snow one. Really, that's what it smells like. It smells so bomb. All right, then for the last two candles that I picked up, this right here is in Winter Candy Apple. I forgot that I picked up the candle version of this. Yeah, I guess it's not as strong. It's a tad bit stronger than the hand soap, so hopefully I, my head won't hurt with this one. But, I mean, I did enjoy this one actually more than I enjoyed the other ones when I was in the store. So there's that. Yeah, it also has like apple crisp here. 
I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm totally out of my butt and yeah. <laughs> but anyways, the last candle I picked up was this one and this one is in Sparkling Icicles. I love very, very fresh, clean scents. This one definitely has that to offer. <sighs> it smells a little bit like a man who just came out of the shower-ish. But then also kind of like winter and water at the same time. This smells really nice. If you guys have a chance to smell this, let me know what you think about it. But anyways, that is pretty much it. That's everything that I picked up from Bath & Body Works for the winter. I realized with myself, the two main times that I go to Bath & Body Works are in the springtime and then the winter. So usually summer and fall are times that I don't really go. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. I hope you enjoyed the vlog as well as the haul. Let me know if there's anything specific that you guys personally like that you think that I might like and that I have to kind of check out, keep me posted. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye. Why am I laughing? <laughs>